this is the file for uh, simulation see if you look at the circuit it has got infinite bus uh, then uh, we have wind generator uh, circuit breakers loads and other measuring devices connected to the bus okay uh, so here i'm going to simulate the fault uh, with this network i'm going to simulate all types of fault after simulating all types of fault i'll be creating a code for that okay so this is the lookup table for uh, creating the code uh, if will be great and if it is one uh, the fault is a very fatal fault uh, line 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 fault and abc to ground fault okay if it is two it is a to ground fault if it is three b to g fault four c to g fault five a b fault other that is ll and uh, six bc fault seven ca fault eight a b g fault nine bcg fault and ten is cag fault right so with this we are going to simulate all types of fault and for each fault i am going to give one code right okay let us look at this this uh, this occurs in between the time period 20 and 25 seconds and this is the fault here like that i have simulated all types of fault a b c and here with respect to the false the given various codes like 0 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and up to 10 okay so this will be recorded see once i simulate this this will be recorded uh, along with the false okay see here i am measuring the false it will be recorded in the workspace in the name of a so phase voltage will be recorded and it is stored uh, in the workspace with the name a here i'm uh, measuring the phase voltage b and it will be stored in the workspace with the name b like the same way i have c that will be stored in the form of uh, c in uh, workspace okay so this is a very simple way of uh, detecting the fault i'm going to uh, create faults in three phases all the phase voltages are measured with respect to the deviation in the voltage level i will be uh, predicting the fault by using anf right so before that to train the network i need to generate the fault as well as the code okay to generate the code i have this and to uh, generate the false i have this block i am going to simulate it i am going to run it for 145 seconds Here is getting simulated. Once it is simulated, we will uh, start training the ANN. Uh, in ANN, as you know, if you increase the number of layers, the accuracy of the system will be high. This is about a system with uh, five layers. Okay, now the simulation is completed. Uh, let us uh, open what the codes created. See, with respect to the timing of the false generated, uh, the codes have been generated. Okay. So if it is zero, you can say that it, it is a uh, healthy grid. If it is one, uh, there is a uh, triple line fault. Uh, triple line to ground fault right so here we have one during the time period 0 uh, 20 to uh, 25 seconds we have 
three phase fault. You can cross check it. See here during the time period 22-25, we have uh, three phase fault. Then we shall check this. During the time period uh, 72 75, we have a uh, single phase, uh, two phase fault, phase B and phase C. 72 75. Seventy-two, seventy-five. Okay. See here we have uh, uh, we have got certain values: phase A voltage, phase B voltage, phase C voltage, as well as the output. Right, the output of codes. Now uh, we need to create input for the ANN model. Right. So for that, I'm going to create one variable blank table. Uh, that faces A, B, and C as inputs. I'm going to copy copy the values of A, B, and C. Right. Okay. Actually, it has to be transposed. So to transpose it, we need to click it. Okay, right. Similarly, we need to transpose the output as well. Okay. So we have inputs with three variables and output. Now we need to train the NN model. So to train that, we need to open NN tools. Okay. Now we need to in, uh, import the input and output. See here we need to select input data and click in. Then the input. Then we need to import the target data. Out is my target data. Okay. Right. Now I need to create a new network. So for that I have to click new. I'm going to name it as fault. You can give any name. Okay. Uh, then here I am keeping the network uh, feed forward back propagation. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to keep all the values as default values. Uh, input is in target data out. I'm not going to change these things. I am going to give five layers. If you increase the layers, uh, the accuracy of the system will be good. Okay. Right. If you view that, see here we have uh, a system with five layers and uh, in a network with to bring the model to simulation. I mean simulating file. We need to type. Jensen fault. Now uh, the network net uh, the ANN network has been created. We shall copy this and put this in this model. Actually, the inputs are the voltages and the output is the codes. Okay. 
so we need to have a scope also we need to have max okay we need to change it to three as we are going to give three voltage inputs right this is for facing this is a b and c right. okay now let us simulate this model after simulating it we can compare it with the actual quotes that we have generated okay we have various other probes uh, to measure the voltage so this is the scope which measures the voltage of all the three phases and the current's magnitude See, whenever the fault is being generated, you can see the waveform uh, changing. This is the fault voltage. See here. See all all the values are given in terms of per unit, per unit, and only the magnitude is given. So, see here we have a three phase fault. So whenever fault occurs, a very fatal fault occurs, as you know the voltage will get reduced to zero, right? See here we have a, a phase to ground fault. All the three phases are into fault with the ground. And here we have a, a single phase to ground fault, A phase, A shorter to ground, okay? And all other uh, phases are healthy. Here we have the second phase under fault, first phase and the C phase are healthy. Okay. See here, uh, this is a phase to phase fault. Since we have a phase to phase fault, uh, we won't see a sudden drop of voltage to zero. But obviously, there will be a voltage drop, right? So, based on this thing, uh, the ANN will form the output. Let us open this, right? See here, with respect to the faults, various types of faults created, you can see the, you can see the quotes getting generated, right? See it here. This is a three phase fault, so we are getting a value of uh, one. And here we have uh, A phase to ground fault, so the value is two, right? So, like that, we have different types of faults, and we shall look at this one. See, uh, during the second 120, we have uh, phase A, C, and ground fault. A and C ground. So its corresponding code is 10. A, C, and ground. Okay. So like that, this will 
predict the fault exactly very accurately this is a very simple method to predict the fault uh, you can use it in your academic purposes or for research purposes so the link for the same is available uh, in the description if you want you can download it and use it please subscribe our channel and support us thank you